What's going on people, Guns Blazing back at it again, and today we have some tips for you regarding the normal and rare only event, including the main deck I used to quickly farm these gems. You've already probably seen this deck if you've participated already, so it's not anything unique, but it is a pretty strong and consistent deck, and it's not too hard to play. So to break it down, going turn 1 you really only need Anchor Drill and any gadget monster. Just go ahead and normal summon the Anchor Drill, which will be able to special summon the gadget from your hand, and then you can turn both of them into level 8 using the effect of Anchor Drill and make Dragoobleon. Then all you have to do is use a Dragoobleon's effect and summon Heart Earth from the extra deck. And this is already pretty hard to deal with because Heart Earth can be destroyed by battle and any cards they summon are set that turn, you can go ahead and banish all of that during the end phase, which is pretty busted especially if they don't read what this card does. So either way you're essentially getting a free turn and then you can follow up with a bunch of stuff. There's also Heart Earth Chaos, you can eventually turn that into number 77, which we'll also talk about a little later in the next duel. And it does in fact synergize with Torrential Tribute, which is one of the strongest trap cards in this format. Because you can prevent number 77 from getting destroyed, meaning you can interrupt any play your opponent wants to go for when they're summoning monsters while keeping your number 77 alive and well. So yeah, this is pretty much the deck I used to get most of the gems from this event already, and it didn't take too long. But you might be wondering what happens if you don't start off with that 2 card combo. Well there is another combo that you can actually do. You will just need infinite track harvester plus any level 10 monster in the deck. Harvester can go ahead and pick up Anchor Drill so that you have a follow up if you have a gadget in your hand, so that's why I picked him up. And you can just turn these two into 77. And that by itself is already solid because he has that innate destruction protection, plus he's a huge body so they can't just easily swing over him. And if you're fortunate enough, you also pick up one of the Xyz negate traps that we run in this deck. Which can further protect your number 77 by negating any effect that targets it, or any Xyz monster on the board. Now this guy went for some strange play I haven't seen and uses a quick play spell to try to destroy my number 77 but I guess he didn't read what it does. Now here on the follow up, yeah I can go Dragoobleon again but I can also just keep them at level 4 and turn them into the dual link spider. Now I can go ahead and banish his monster and just go for game here. Now because we also run the continuous spell it's rare that you won't get either of these 2 card combos. You can always just scoop too if all you care about is speed. You don't really lose anything by scooping in this event. You might be wondering though if you can do anything if this does happen to you like they get their heart earth out. And the funny thing is you do have an answer in the mirror match. You just need a 2 plus 10 combo. Which we just went over. It's just your harvester into either of the level 10s including this one right here. Which the other one bullet train can be special summoned when you have only earth machine monsters on the board. And this one can be special summoned when you summon an earth machine monster. Number 77 can detach 2 mats and banish all of their special summoned monsters. And also the freight train can pop from the grave to destroy one card on the field if it's used as a mat for activation. This dude's gonna get some shenanigans going on with his gadgets. But all of this is fine and dandy because we do have number 77 chilling on the board plus the torrential tribute which as you know combos nice with him. And we got the compulsory evac just waiting for whatever play he wants to go for. And I'm just gonna draw the line when I see dual link spider come out. Just gonna pop my torrential tribute here, protect my number 77 and that should be game. Simply gonna summon my gadgets here. We already know what the set card is, it's Super Team Buddy Force Unite or something, and so we don't have to worry about Torrential Tribute or stuff like that. So here's a deck, we already went over most of this stuff, but your Drill and your Harvester are your starters, and they can also be searched by 3 copies of Heavy Forward, giving you some more consistency, and then the level 10s, they will pair up with your... Harvester, and all the gadgets they'll pair up with their anchor drill. Then you got 3 MST, best back row removal in the event. Torrential and Compulsory deals with your opponent's monsters, and whatever tough sticky beasts they want to summon onto their board. Then you got 3 Xyz Reflect, which will protect your Xyz boss monsters. And if you don't feel like running this much back row, you can always run more gadget support cards, including Booty Admiral, which will essentially allow you to eat the booty like groceries. And I do feel we've already explained the important cards in this extra deck. As always, all the card names and the entire deck list will be in the description of the video. Now if this deck doesn't interest you or you come across a better deck in the vent, do keep in mind that since it's normal rare, the beautiful thing is you can pretty much yoink any deck you see. You can just go to the top right, dismantle all extra cards. And I already did this, but if you have three or more of any card, it will just automatically dismantle it for you. You don't need them anyway, because obviously you can't run more than three copies of anything. And this is how I got a buttload of N and RCP, which you can use to build pretty much any deck from the event. 
Now as usual, most of the gems are front loaded towards the first rewards. I have only went up to the first 5,000 for now and that's kind of okay already for the people that have very limited time. But honestly, going to 10,000 is not that much further and it's pretty easy seeing as every win is 500 points so it's only 20 wins. Then after that is just legacy tickets which are not really worth but also keep in mind that some of the event gems won't be found on this page but rather in your missions tab so be sure to check this out if you're interested in all of the conditions to get all of the gems from this event. And now I go ahead and show you some um, some extra duels from the event. This one I just mean my ass off, so that's why I'm showing this one. You can see Xyz Reborn in my hand. I tried it, but it's really uh, it didn't really feel good. Anyways, this is not an optimal start because I didn't open up with either of my uh, two card combos. But at least you'll get to get a glimpse of what happens when you brick. Good thing about Golden Gadget is if you destroy it with Torrential, you can go ahead and special summon from your deck any gadget, and it's just gonna devolve into a gadget beatdown. Anyways, my opponent is going to go out into this thing, which gets out another level 3, so he can go Xyz level 3 Jaja. -Ja. And the stupid thing is, I could have actually negated and destroyed this with Xyz Reflect, because it's for any face-up Xyz monsters and it targeted itself. But I just decided to be a no-clicker that day, and I clicked off the prompt for literally no reason. But anyways, he gets to go out into his Armed Dragon, which... Wait, is this... is this one of the loner decks? Either way, like, I can't do anything at the moment, there's nothing I have that can deal with this armed dragon, so I'm just gonna let him beat me down. I'm just summoning a bunch of gadgets, so at least I'm thinning my deck. And as a wise man once said, deck thinning is deck winning. And now finally, I get to see the fruits of all my deck thinning. On draw phase, I pick up my compulsory evac, which, so that's pretty much the game. Yeah, that's my answer to the Armed Dragon, and he can't really do anything about that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and attack this guy multiple times. I'm talking full Bonobo style, just ramming my gadgets into this dragon, putting me in lethal range, but... You know, I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just trying to do it for a quest because there is a daily mission that I have to take battle damage. So remember guys, always check your missions. For example, I had that mission, plus I also had to summon Xyz monster 20 times. <laughs> so uh, that's that's why I summoned this 77 right here. And here's another deck I tried which I didn't really get to polish or play that much because I didn't have time to. And I realized it's not as useful as I thought it would be. I thought there would be more like trap spam decks in this event and so I made a deck with Wildheart and like Tenkabito Shien because they don't care about traps. And you don't really get to see it here but it's also packed with a bunch of equips including Mage Power which is also just a rare equip card. And the other thing about Wildheart and Shien is that since they're unaffected by traps, they're also unaffected by Torrential Tribute, and you could also run stuff like Needle Ceiling in this deck. Anyways, I don't know if anyone has played around with this concept or uh, made a similar deck to this, but if you did, feel free to comment and say what you run with it. I do have a list which I'll show you briefly afterwards, but again, it's not really refined, nor is it as strong as I thought it would be in this event. But still, Tenkabito Shien is one of my favorite cards, so I'm kind of curious to see how, how to make that boy shine again. Anyways, before I sign off on this one, I do have one last combo to show you, and this was actually from another Earth Machine player that I encountered while I was dueling in the event. I was just like mind blown, how did I not think of this combo? He starts off with Green Gadget, and then he goes ahead and summons Freight Train from the hand. Green Gadget picks up the Red Gadget, which gives him enough fuel to special summon his Booty Admiral from the hand, which is the card we mentioned earlier and then sacks the Booty Admiral for a level 5 Infinitrack. Now first, this board seems like it doesn't do anything, but you'll have to wait until the next turn to see what happens. 